back with Julie going through that standing flow sequence. Another great exercise for us fighter types when you're getting ready or preparing for a long tournament or just recovering from all that training is the ability to express proper healthy movement from the T-spine. That's never going to come from just isolating the T-spine when you're in a standing profile. So what you're similarly going to do is get into your Muay Thai or boxer stance. What you want to do is try to express hip loading sequences where it's sitting back into the hip and you're transferring up towards the front leg. And this is more or less going to help promote a healthy range of motion or in range of motion in your T-spine. It should be helping you rotate properly, less through your lower back where you're extending the hip. And you're working on almost overturning because what will happen is from those biases of position and tight compressed patterns or tight compressed postures, you more or less stop rotating as much as you should through your T-spine and it becomes over rotational through the lower back which can cause injury, injuries to the lower back, the groin, the knee, the ankle joints, all comprehensively off that kinetic chain. So learning how to properly express a healthy movement and expanding profile for your T-spine is key to avoiding a lot of injuries that can lead up the kinetic chain. It also helps you breathe better. And what you're doing more or less is adding some extensive power to his shoulder blades. <laughs> you can go back to the other side. He's learning more or less how to create that kinetic integration through his feet. He's learning how to create more rotation through his T-spine while keeping his lower back or spinal column aligned. Exactly. And he's decompressing all the tissues that can get tight out of that composed Muay Thai or boxing stance where you always have your arms hunched up and towards your shoulders or in towards your face. Just to tack down those muscle groups. Guess what, when those are super chronically tight, we can end up with breathing issues. Then you combine that with damage that you may take to the body, to the head, and that exasperates that issue. Stealing more energy, leading to longer concussion or longer head recovery timelines. Doing stuff like this to help alleviate all that tension you've built.